I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the Union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood, Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you, but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered spaceflight and left our homeworld. Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. How could anyone abandon their own child? I cannot answer that. This is all speculation on my part. 
It is possible she wanted to be part of my life, but something happened to her before she had the chance. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. She wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Really? Really. You did a great job, Conrad. Now please go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, Asari Matriarch and Bartender. Get you anything? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. If your mother fought in the Rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pureblood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. One saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. What's it like being an Asari major? Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. Thanks for telling me right. about that. 
Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Subject Zero, Purgatory, ship now defunct. Aria Talok, Omega. Remember you? Shepard, right? Heard you're fighting the Reapers. Matriarch Athena. You were working on Ilium. How'd you end up here? Nah. With the Reapers making noise, I figured it was time to get somewhere safer. So I moved here. I don't think so. I've seen some video footage of you looking at Liara. Benazio was, um, was her mother. You mean you were her other mother, right? No, I didn't pop her out. Hell, she's never even met me. Sorry, if you were human, you'd both be called the mother, regardless of which one gave birth. Well, I'm not human, am I? Anthropocentric bag of dicks. Liara would love to meet you. Why? She doesn't even know me from a hole in the ground. Venezia ran off before the kid was born. Besides, this isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady connections. Like a boyfriend who used to work for Cerberus. I only worked with Cerberus to fight the Reapers. And you're not with him now, I know. If you were, you wouldn't get within a light year of Liara. Is that a threat? 
I'm no commando, but I've had a thousand years to learn to fight dirty. Nobody messes with my girl. Anyway, you combine her work with Vanessa and... Well, maybe... That's not gonna happen. No argument here. I only took these crap jobs to keep the matriarchs happy that she's under control. Just as long as we're clear. Nobody messes with my girl. <laughs> Maybe you're good enough for her after all. I bet she'd like to meet you. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to the The bartender over there? The matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements? She's your father. I know. I never get to surprise you with anything. I'm a very good information broker. And you haven't talked to her about spying on you? If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. Besides, this is hardly the time for family reunions. Liara. Oh, fine. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers Come on. Can't blame the Matriarchs for keeping an eye on you. I am not my mother. Mm, you did threaten to flay someone alive with your mind. I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going to actually do it. And... You bugged my office on Ilium. That'd be the logical conclusion. Yeah. Matriarchs aren't going to do anything to you, especially in the middle of this damn war. My reports don't show much activity from the Asari military against the Reapers. Come on, you know how Asari work. Infiltration and sabotage. But against Reaper forces, that's... I know. About as useful as tits on a Hanar. Good thing we've got the Turians and the Krogan to do the heavy lifting. Our people just aren't built for the front ranks. Krogan. Yes, I'm aware of that. So, that makes you a quarter Krogan. That's not how it works. I'm a thousand years old. I've had kids with Hanar. Don't tell me how a sorry reproduction works. Wait, I have a half-sister who's part Hanar. I thought that wasn't how it worked. All I'm saying is... Feel the urge to headbutt something, it's genetic. I have never wanted to headbutt anything. Really? Not even a little bit? Come on. I do not headbutt people. All right, fine. Don't go all blood rage on me. Or what? You'll tell the other matriarchs to order a hit. Hey, that's not gonna happen. Nazi and I were together for more than a century. You loved her? Of course I loved her. She was so smart. Always thinking. Nice, too. Hell of a lot nicer than I am. But damn, that rack. I mean, even before she hit the matriarch stage. You don't need to tell me everything. Nazi was the only one who ever listened to me when I said the Asari were stuck in the past. Only difference was I wanted us to stand on our own. She wanted alliances with the other species. Is that why? Why it ended? Nah. Well, maybe. I don't know. Mostly it ended because she wanted to solve things a smart way. I wanted to fight. Those aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah. I hear you've racked up quite a body count. But that
down. You are quarter crunky. Now you're doing it on purpose. It was pretty clear she was leaving. Can't be the wise counselor when you're married. Why not? Sex appeal. No species only pay attention if they want to have sex with you. So, you have to be available, mysterious. What? That's not true. Shepard listens to me. I've seen the way you look at each other. Surprised your panties haven't caught fire. Do you have to make it sound so tawdry? If it's all civilized, you're not doing it right. I made her promise to let you go your own way, though. No matter what she wanted. Really? I knew you'd be special, kid. Any daughter of hers. I told her, treating her like a baby bird, Nessie. She's gonna raise one hell of a storm with those little wings. Little wing? You okay? Yes. Thanks. she turned into with that Saren bastard. It wasn't her fault. She was trying to stop Saren, guide him as a force of good. But she was indoctrinated. Look, I heard stories about the Reapers messing with your head. They're more than stories. I've seen it. Every Cerberus soldier is a Reaper slave. She fought it with every fiber of her being. She even broke free and helped Shepard on Novaria before she died. I was there. She said I'd made her proud. All this time, I blame Nezzy for it. A thousand years old, and I still don't know crap. Thanks for telling me. Just take care of yourself out there, okay, kid? I will, Dad. Hey. <clears throat> I've called a few friends. Commandos. Eclipse girls who uh, owe me some favors. They're all yours. Just tell them where to go. You're giving me a sorry commandos? Well, you're too old for me to buy you a damn pony. You're the best father a girl could wish for. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers occupy most of the Pamela. It appears that Turian Come on. Can't blame the matriarchs for keeping an eye on you. I am not my mother. Mm, you did threaten to flay someone alive with your mind. I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going to actually do it. And... You bugged my office on Ilium. That'd be the logical conclusion. Yeah. 